Welcome replay viewers and hello everybody. Welcome. Thank you for joining. Joseph, how are you? I'm back at the Mastic Shirley station for the arrival of uh, LIRR train 8710 to Montauk. Ah, beautiful day here. I can't believe this. Can you? I just left my truck thermometer 72 degrees gentle breeze out of the southwest right now maybe about eight ten miles an hour uh, they're showing the train on time I really wanted to see if there were any number of people traveling out here uh, from the city or up west up the island for uh, maybe having uh, Easter dinner with families out here should be interesting to see how many are on this train today yeah yeah oh uh, let's see uh craig that'll be tuesday um between panchog and um Spion, correct in other words monday is between babylon and patchog and then tuesday morning will be the run from patchog to Spionk. yeah okay i'll be uh, trying to catch that then as it comes through santa mariches yeah the other weekend here the parking lot is empty uh but it'll be interesting to see if anyone is making a day trip out here for Easter Sunday. So, happy Easter. Uh, well, what's happening? Let me take a walk up that end of the platform. They're, they're closing William Floyd Parkway crossing for a day to replace the uh, tracks in the crossing there and you know this is the busiest crossing in Suffolk County so that is going to create a ha havoc around here they had it scheduled for March but they had to cancel it at the last minute because of the uproar here in the local community and also from Brookhaven town politicians there was no plan you know of how to divert traffic the only other crossings you have here are uh, Smith Road a two-lane road which is a mile and a half to the west of us and then Mastic Road which is a mile and a half to the east of us and again that's a two-lane road so if they close this William Floyd Parkway off for say let's say 24 hours it is going to be a driving nightmare here along Montauk Highway and along this street just to the south of us here 48 hours then it's going to be uh, three times as bad see Sur Surrey Circle there uh, see where those cars are traveling now you'd have to travel a mile and a half east to Mastic Road in order to cross the tracks here so if you were coming up from uh, William Floyd Parkway from the southern end of Shirley or from Mastic Beach just let me walk up here and show you the traffic that uh, is crossing this road on a Sunday afternoon. Yeah, they have the uh, they have the track uh, laying equipment here in the west end of the uh, parking lot here. Correct. It's all stacked up. Yeah, they were going to do it in April, and then they uh, rescheduled it for May, and I guess. The local leaders around here demanded a, uh, a traffic abatement plan from the Long Island Railroad that they come up with some kind of a plan, you know, where they would have Suffolk County police here or MTA police directing traffic and trying to get uh, people across the tracks here one way or another. But this is going to be a nightmare. But we'll be here to, well, no, I, I'm, I take that back. I'm not coming anywhere near this station the weekend they do this crossing repair. Because, you know, you'll be sitting uh, bumper to bumper in uh, locked traffic. This is a four car platform, as many of you know. Uh, some of you don't know. Okay, there is William Floyd Parkway crossing. I'll zoom in just a little bit. That's six lanes, three lanes each way, obviously. And it is, uh, I believe, the busiest 
grade crossing in Suffolk County. And it's, the traffic is just nonstop. So about less than an eighth of a mile to the north of us is uh, Montauk Highway, major intersection there. And then a quarter of a mile to the north is Sunrise Highway Bridge. And then, of course, uh, four miles to the north, you have the uh, four or five miles up, you have the Long Island Expressway. So this road is the major north-south road on the Mastic Shirley Peninsula. And only two two-lane crossings, as I said, a mile and a half west, mile west, and a mile and a half to the east of us. So if this thing is closed down for 48 hours, 24 to 48 hours, uh, good luck with that. So you see where that blue Jeep is riding right now. Uh, there won't be anyone coming that way because uh, you can only make a right turn to go across the tracks to the north. So most of the traffic will be coming from the east, which I'm looking now, over here to Surrey Circle, and they'll make left turns and then they'll go around the circle over to William Floyd Parkway to head south. And likewise, people coming north on William Floyd Parkway will have to come out of this uh, Surrey Circle road, well that's what it's called, Surrey Circle, and then head east to uh, Mastic Road and then hang a left and go across the tracks in Mastic at Mastic Road. So good luck. You know, it's a two-lane road through residential area with uh, three sets of stop signs to control speeding and everything in a residential area. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. There we go, that sounds good. Doing wheelies on them bikes. All right, I'm at the west end of the platform here. I'm gonna walk to the east end of the platform. This is a four car platform in that it can platform four C3 bi-level passenger cars. Uh, 8710 usually operates with six C3 bi-level cars. So that means that uh, passengers have to walk forward or backward uh, to, to cars that are with doors open to get off the train on the platform here. Okay, now they're saying the status is it's late, seven minutes. Let's just look up at this sign again. 125 to Montauk, late seven minutes. But you, know, you can't go by that. But normally that tells me that uh, um, large passenger load. So it's taking them longer to uh, discharge passengers at stops, or it took them longer to load the train at Jamaica. This train stops. Well, it starts in Jamaica, and it stops at Babylon and Patchog. It skips Bayshore through uh, Sayville, stops at Patchog, it skips Bellport, and then it stops here at Mastic Shirley. Then the next stop is 15 minutes to the east of us, which is Spionk. That's pretty... Oh my goodness, maybe he's not running seven minutes late. Maybe he made it up. Let me get down to the end of the platform because uh, I just heard the horn and I saw the lights of the locomotive. Okay, he just crossed Smith Road back there. 
the gates are coming down at William Floyd Parkway. We're going to position ourselves up here so we can see people get off the, the lead car. All right, here he comes crossing William Floyd Parkway. No, no what, Craig? 409 again. Didn't they have problems with that engine yesterday? But hey. this good people just as I thought it would be visitors for Easter look at the number of people getting off here at Mastic Shirley really great this is the vestibule area of the of the lead C3 C3 is for you those you don't know are double-decker cars all right less than 30 seconds dwell time here at Mastic Shirley about 30 or 40 people got off and about uh, two or three got on. Very good. And it looks like we have another uh, rear engine today, locomotive. And it's still, I can see through the uh, smoked glass that there's still plenty of people on the train it's heading out to the Hamptons and Montauk. So here again we have one, two, three, four, five, six C3 bi-level passenger cars today. 409 in the lead. And 423 in trail. So that's the same consist that they had yesterday for Saturday's run. Uh, and he's proceeding through the JJD interlocking now. And as I mentioned yesterday, 423 originally was a DM, in other words, a uh, dual mode locomotive. They had some problems with that and uh, they converted it over to a DE, which is strictly diesel operation. So that no longer runs off the third rail power. All right, good people, that's it for Easter Sunday here, uh, 72 degrees. I'm going to move over to the beach. All right, take care, everybody.